uh, something is definitely a buzz at the University of British Columbia. Researchers are there launching a matchmaking service aimed at uh, specifically at bees. The goal is to pair queens up with specific suitors that display what researchers call hygienic behavior. Here for a closer look at this is Professor of Biochemistry and Molecular Biology at UBC, Leonard Foster. Hello, Leonard, how are you, sir? Good, thanks, how are you? I'm very well. All right, generally speaking, only 5% of bees demonstrate hygienic behavior. What exactly is hygienic behavior and why is it such a valuable trait? Well, it's uh, kind of as the name implies, the, the bees, the hygienic bees are better at keeping a cleaner hive. And uh, most specifically what they do is if there's a dead or dying nest mate that has probably been infected uh, or infested by a parasite, those hygienic bees uh, remove those dead or dying nest mates out of the hive. And, and by getting that diseased uh, individual out of the hive, they reduce the risk for the overall hive. So you're working with about 10 bee breeders. How does, how does the matchmaking process work? I mean, we're joking around that it's Tinder for bees, but walk us through the important steps. Yep. So we have developed a tool that allows us to look at the antenna of worker bees from a colony and use a molecular diagnostic to figure out whether that colony is hygienic or not. So we work with those bee breeders to uh, look at antennae from uh, maybe 50 or 100 colonies that they have in their operation and then give a report back to those bee breeders on which ones are gonna be most hygienic. Then we work with them to do a, a breeding of those hygienic bees in an isolated area. Uh, and from that breeding, we make more, more queen bees and uh, those queen bees can then be sold to other beekeepers uh, who are in need of uh, disease resistant bees. And uh, research shows the hygienic bees are good at fighting a particular type of mite. And UBC reports uh, that those mites are responsible for about 40% of Canada's bee colonies that are lost every year. So, so I'm guessing that this type of matchmaking could have a very real impact on the health and the size of these colonies. Well, that's, that's certainly the hope. And in, uh, in the experiments that have been done at our university and, and elsewhere across the country and in, uh, in the States as well, it's very clear that hygienic bees are, are better at fighting off this mite. We've also done a, a large trial with uh, a number of beekeepers across the country to show that that's the case in a real world situation. And now the goal is to just start, uh, over time, strengthening the gene pool of bees in Canada. Well, Leonard Foster, uh, we've done a number of stories on this show about how important it is to protect our bee colonies and, and, and help them thrive again. So we appreciate all the work that you and your team are doing. Thanks again. Thank you. Have a good day. Thanks so much.